Okay, so we are looking at class test one from 2018, and we're going to look at, we're going to do question one. Okay, so we have this matrix A, 3 by 5, solve the system x equals 0. So that's going to involve Gauss reduction, right? Okay, so it's going to, yeah, we're going to put down x equals 0, we're going to Gauss reduce, and yeah, okay. So what is this matrix? It's 1 minus 1, 1. We have the matrix 1 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 3, 3. 0, 1, 1. 2, 1, 6, 1, 4, 7. 2, 1, 6, 1, 4, 7. Let me just check that. Top row, 1, 3, 0, 2, 1. 0, 2, 1. Next row, minus 1, minus 3, 1, 1, 4. Minus 1, minus 3, 1, 1, 4. Then 1, 3, 1, 6, 7. 1, 3, 1, 6, 7. Yes, okay. This times the vector x equals the zero vector. Okay. So let's start by doing row 2 plus row 1 and also make row 3, row 3 minus row 1. So that'll give us, you know, row 1 stays the same. Row 2 becomes 0, 0, 1, 3, 5. And row 3 becomes 0, 0, 1, 6 minus 2 is 4, 7 minus 1 is 6. Okay. Now let's do row 3 minus row 2. Okay. So I get 0, and row, row 3 will become 0, 0, 0, 4 minus 3 is 1, 6 minus 5 is 1. Okay. Other rows are staying the same for now. Okay. Now let's do row 2. I'm going to get think about that pivot to be 0, so let's do row 2 minus 3 times row 3. Okay, so that gives us 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, that stays the same. The next second row becomes 0, 0, 1. So minus 3 times that row, you get 0. 5 minus 3 is 2. And we can also actually at the same time do row 1 minus 2 times row 3. So then that'll be 1, 3, 0, and then 0 there, and we'll have 1 minus 2, so we'll have minus 1. Okay, that's, that's all you can do. Everything above each pivot is 0. So we now need to look at read off the solution. So it's going to be, uh, since A has five columns, it's going to be a vector with five rows. Okay. It's got how many free variables? There's three pivots, so there's, yeah, there's these three pivots, so there's three free variables in the second row and the fourth, sorry, the second column and the fourth column. So it's that. Plus that. It's homogeneous, so there's no need for a additional constant vector. Um, so the pivots, the pre variables were in the second column, so that means it translates to the second row. And the fifth column, that column takes as the fifth row, and then you want those things to be zero. Okay. Then what that last line, that last row says that, says that like x4 is equal to minus x5. Okay, so we want zero, minus one there, for x4. Then the second row says that x3 is equal to minus 2x5. So you want 0, minus 2x5. And row, that first row says that x1 is equal to minus 3x2 plus 1x5. So you want like that. Okay. So that should be the solution. Yes, that all solutions are like that. We can just check it quickly. If you take this vector a and multiply it by this vector minus three one zero 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 what do you get what you get zero do you get zero you get minus you get three minus three ah it's all very easy isn't it you get minus three plus three minus three plus three yes you get zero cool and if you multiply it by the other vector we got one zero minus two minus one one zero minus two minus one one oh, that's a bit more complicated what you get you get Oh, it's got, it's got three rows, of course. You get, what, 1 minus 2 plus 1, yes, that's 0. 
you get then you get minus one minus two minus one plus four yes that's zero and finally you get one minus one plus no one minus one minus six no not one minus one one minus two minus six plus seven yeah it's also zero cool okay so we have solved the system next question what is the dimension of the null space of a that was 1.1. 1.2 is what is the dimension of the null space of A? Well, it's the size of a basis for it, and the basis for it will be these two vectors because they're linearly independent. So we could say that, first of all, let me rewrite these, that give me th these vectors some names to make things going forward a bit easier. I'll call them U and V. Okay. Um, so we know that the dimension of the null space of A equals the size of this set as a basis for it, so the size of that set UV, which is 2. Okay. 1.3, write on a linearly independent set of three vectors chosen from these three things, which are exactly the columns of A. Cool. Okay. Sorry, I actually didn't undo too much. Okay, so you want linear independent vectors. Okay, you want to take a linear combination of these things. Okay, linear combination of these things, set it equal to zero, and then and then uh, you want you want three vectors from here, which when you take a linear combination of them, set it equal to zero. The only solution is the trivial solution. So to find the solution, you would. Um, you would Gauss reduce, right? But we already Gauss reduced all five of these columns together. So we just need to find the three columns that together give you Gauss reduce to give you a unique solution. So that'll be the way you have no free variables. So if we look at choose this column, choose the first column, the third column, and the fifth column, right? That will Gauss reduce to the identity matrix. Okay? The only other, yeah, first column, sorry, first column, third column, fourth column, Gauss reduced identity matrix. Um, there are other choices, but that's one choice. So we, so the vectors we should choose would be the first vector, the third vector, and the fourth vector. Okay, so, oops. So, first vector is one minus one, one. Sorry. Um, yeah. Did I do something? So the first vector is 1 minus 1, 1. The third vector is 0, 1, 1. And the fourth vector is 2, 1, 6. Okay, so those will be a linearly independent set and they'll form a basis because those other two vectors are dependent on them. Wait a second. Why are we getting a dimension of the null space being? Only two. If we're going to have three vectors. We want to say we're going to have three vectors. The linearly independent. Sorry. Yes, of course, because the, the, the these three vectors form the row space and the null to mention the row null space. What's the row space is equal to the columns number of columns of the matrix. So this is fine. We're not finding a basis for the null space. We're finding a basis for the range of A or for the row space of A. Okay. We don't need to know that. Um, so these three vectors will work. Um, y, um, yeah, so these are linearly independent because by 1.1 we know that if you put those matrices in, those vectors into a matrix, you Gauss reduce it and you'd get the identity matrix. Okay. So that's question one done.